हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट यू आर ऑल आर अवेयर अबाउट कोविड नाइन्टीन ड्यू टू द कोविड नाइन्टीन अवर स्कूल आर नॉट स्टार्ट प्रॉपरली सो सी बी एस ई हैज बिन डिसाइडेड दे वर डिलीटेड थर्टी परसेंट ऑफ सिलेबस इन ईच एंड एवरी क्लास सो योर फर्स्ट चैप्टर दैट इज लिविंग वर्ल्ड सम पार्ट ऑफ दैट टॉपिक इज ऑल्सो हैज बिन डिलीटेड दैट पार्ट इज टेक्सोनॉमी कैटेगरीज एंड टेक्सोनॉमिकल एड सो वी आर नॉट कंसिडरिंग दिस बोथ टॉपिक टू लर्न नाउ टू डेज क्लास वी आर स्टडिंग अवर नेक्स्ट चैप्टर चैप्टर नंबर टू बायोलॉजिकल क्लासीफिकेशन इन बायोलॉजिकल क्लासीफिकेशन वी आर कंसिडरिंग किंगडम मोनेरा किंगडम प्रोटेस्टा किंगडम फंगी किंगडम प्लांटिया and kingdom animalia that means we are studying about five kingdom classification we are um, studying upon ba uh, basics and the last one virus and viral now uh, it is necessary to knowing about what is biological classification if we talk about biological classification is defined as the process of grouping the organism according to certain similarity uh, linears proposed carlos linears proposed two kingdom of classification he classified organism into animal kingdom as well as plant kingdom there were certain limitation associated with two kingdoms classification such as it does not differentiate between eukaryotic and prokaryotic unicellular organism and multicellular organism and photosynthetic and non photosynthetic organism five kingdom classification that means r h whitaker was the scientist who proposed five kingdom classification systematic classification systematic uh, system of classification early the classification was given by aristotle he divided plant into herb shrub and tree animal into those with red blood cell or who do not have it two kingdom classification given by carlos linnaeus they are plantia kingdom and animalia kingdom after that r h whitaker given by five kingdom classification that kingdom classification in that kingdom classification is monera protesta fungi plantia and animalia now today we are talking about first one that is monera we talking about monera now if we talking about monera so monera that means monera single cell organism the most important member of monera are bacteria all organism present in this kingdom are pro, uh, prokaryotic it include bacteria as well as blue green algae they can be present in external habitat such as such as hot spring desert snow as well as deep ocean certain organism act as a parasite also all monera are prokaryotic they do not have the true nucleus that is nucleus not surrounded by the nuclear membrane they can be autotrophic heterotrophic as well as parasite they do not have cell wall respiration can be aerobic as well as anaerobic the movement occur through flagella exchange of nutrition or gases occur by diffusion they are divided into two category first one is arch bacteria and second one is u bacteria now we are di discussing about arch bacteria arch bacteria can be thermo acidophilic that means they live in the hot spring halophiles halophiles that means they live in the salty water methanogens that means they live in the marshy area their structure of cell wall is different from other monera methanogens are found in gut of some ruminant such as buffalo and cows they help in producing of biogas from the duration uh, dung of the animals 
now we are talking about you bacteria you bacteria they are refer as true bacteria present of motile flagella and rigid cell wall structure them it include cyanobacteria blue green algae they are like plant in the chlorophyll so known as photosynthetic autotroph cyanobacteria are unicellular uh, flameless cell algae they form colonies which are surrounded by gelatinous sheet some have special specialized structure known as heterocyst which help in the fixing nitrogen they are certain bacteria that can oxidize certain inorganic substance such as nitrite nitrate they also as a chemosynthetic autotrophic the energy released during oxidation is used in the production of atp bacteria can reproduce by the fission they can also reproduce through spore under unfavorable condition some exceptions also include in this category like mycoplasma myco if we talk about mycoplasma it is also a monera kingdom member but monera also include mycoplasma they do not have cell wall survive in anaerobic condition mycoplasma is smallest living organism on the earth now we are talking about the second kingdom that is kingdom protista that is kingdom protista so kingdom protista single celled eukaryotes are kept under the protista they are mostly aquatic in nature for example algae serve as a primary producer in aquatic ecosystem they are unicellular eukaryotic organisms they have true nucleus bounded by nuclear membrane they can move by cilia as well as by flagella respiration can be both aerobic as well as anaerobic similarly reproduction can be sexual as well as asexual this class is further divided into sub classes like first one chirophytas if we uh, talk about chirophyta it consists diatom and golden algae they are known also known as uh, they include diatoms and golden algae they can live in a fresh water as well as, as well as marine water mostly they are photosynthetic they their cell wall is imper, impregnated with the cilia they are major produce in the ocean most they are unicellular flagella but some are amoidal second class is now we are up talking about second class and that second second class is dino flagella dino flagella yeah dino flagellated dino if we talk about dino flagellated are marine photosynthetic organism they can be different color such as yellow brown red blue in color the color is due to the presence of different colored pigment in the cell of the diflagellated the cell wall is made up of cellulose they are diflagellated with one flagella plays longitudinally and other flagellata flagellata placed transferi for example nostilius scintillesa is the example of di and no flagellated now we are talking about next class that is euglenoid if we talk about euglenoid 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 are fresh water organisms that are both in the stagnated water they are surrounded by protein rich layer known as pellicle they have one short flagella one long flagella they can be behave as a autotrophic as well as heterotrophic organism euglena is the important member of this class most of the euglena have chloroplast so they can synthesize their own food reserve food material found in euglenoid are paranormal now we are talking about the next class that is slimy body 
If we talk about slimy malt, slimy malt are separatro- saprophyte in nature under favorable condition. They form aggregate which are known as plasmodium. During unfavorable condition, they form fruity body which with spore. They possess true cell wall. They are extremely resist to adverse condition. Now we are talking about protozoans. Now we are talking about protozoans. They are heterotrophs. They can live as predatory as well as parasite. They are. They have four major type of protozoans. First one, amoid, amoidal protozoan. Amoidal protozoans are found in fresh water, moist soil, or sea water. We are talking about amoid, amoidal protozoans. Amoidal protozoan. Amoidal protozoans are found in fresh water, moist soil, or sea water. They possess pseudopodia for engulfing the food. Particular such as amoeba is the member of this group. Now we are talking about the second one that is flagellated protozoan. Flagellated protozoan. See, flagellated protozoan. The member of flagellated protozoan uh, either may be trypnosomes who seek uh, who cause sickle cell or sleeping sickness. Flagellated protozoan can be free living parasite. The group of organisms are responsible for different parasitic diseases. Now we are talking about ciliated protozoans. Now we are talking about ciliated protozoans. Ciliated protozoans possess thousands of cilia. Movement of cilia help in the propelling forward and backward. It also help in obtaining food from outside. Paramecium is the main member of this family. Now we are talking about separo separo zoans. Separo zoans from reproduction reproductive cell which are known as spore. They are parasite and pathogen in nature. For example, Plasmodium species cause malaria. Reproduction can be asexual or sexual. Now it's a time to discuss the third kingdom that is fungi now we are discussing third kingdom that is fungi fungi are heterotrophic in nature some act as a dead organism material and so known as saprotrophic some can feed on living organism so known as parasite some fungi can live in the mature relationship with other organisms such as algae they are known as lichens such fungi are known as symbiotic lichens are symbiotic association between fungi and algae mycorrhiza are symbiotic association between fungi and root of the higher plant reproduction in fungi can occur by budding fragmentation fission asexual reproduction occur by mean of spores known as conida zoospores and sporogyra sexual reproduction occur by sexual reproduction occur by oospore basidiospore etc they are three stage of sexual cycle in fungi the first step is fusion of protoplasm which is known as plasmogamy they are fusion of nucleus occur which is known as cryptogamy the result in the formation of zygote they finally meiosis of zygote result in the formation of spore the vegetative part of fungi known as mycelium the network of hy- hypha is known as mycelium during sexual cycle of fungi two haploid hypha fuse to form diploid cell the kingdom fungi is divided into following classes now we are discussing about the first class that is phyno phycomycetes phycomycetes if we talk about phycomycetes lower fungi asexual reproduction occur by mitosis spore known as zoospore and non motile spore known as apelino spore spore are produced inside the sporangium fusion of gamete given rise to zoospore 
mycelium is uh, coinous multinucleus and multicellular for example mucor rhizopus etc are the member of this class now we are discussing about next one that is that is ascomycetes they are called sac fungi they can be separo tropic as well as parasite a sexual reproduction occur by conidia sexual reproduction can occur through ascorpi branched and septa my mycelium is found in the ascomycetes penicillium aspergillus etc are the member of this family now we are talking about basidomycetes 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 called club fungi vegetative vegetative reproduction occurs through fragmentation absence of sex organ plasmogamy between two vegetative or somatic cell result in the formation of basidium basidium undergo uh, cryptogamy and meiosis to form a four basido spore for example mucor and smooth are the example of this class now we are talking about deuteromycetes 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 are commonly known as imperfect fungi as they do not have sexual reproduction at any stage of the life the asexual reproduction occur by conidia mycelium is septate uh, and branched for example trichoderm uh, zygomycetes are the primitive group of fungi now we are talk talk kingdom plantia kingdom plantia kingdom plantia include all photosynthetic multicellular eukaryotic plant characteristics of the member of plantia are as follow most mostly they are eukaryote in nature the main pigment present is chlorophyll cell wall is made up of cellulose photosynthesis help in the synthesis of food reproduction can be sexual as well as asexual they exhibit the phenomena of alteration of generation that is diploid sarcophyte and haploid gametophyte now now we are dis discussing about our next and last kingdom that is kingdom animalia they are heterotrophic eukaryotic organisms some of the characters of member of animal animalia are they are multicellular organisms with variable size they have well developed organisms such as skeleton system circulatory system respiratory system etc they are bilateral symmetry they have well developed locomotory organ respiration occur by gills book lungs book gills skin lungs etc membrane bounded cell organelle with nucleus bounded by the nuclear membrane circulation occur by blood vessels and heart reproduction occur by formation of haploid gametes diffuse of gametes give rise to a new diploid organism kidney are the main respiratory organ so this is our five kingdom classification given by the rh beaker in next class we are discussing about our next topic that is virus viroids and lichens okay which one sorry which one virus viroids and lichens this discuss in our next session see write down some assignment question you want to write in your copy you also prepare the notes for five kingdom classification the first question you may, you assign is what is who give five kingdom case classification and why what is deuteromycetes second one is what is deuteromycetes third question is what what is write the common characters of write the common characters of kingdom plantia 
राइट द कॉमन कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ किंगडम प्लांटिया तो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन राइट द कैरेक्टर्स जनरल कैरेक्टर ऑफ किंगडम प्लांटिया तो नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन ड्रॉ द टेबल एंड डिस्क्राइब इन डिटेल फाइव किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन ड्रॉ द टेबल एंड डिस्क्राइब फाइव किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन इन डिटेल दिस इज योर असाइनमेंट क्वेश्चन राइट इन योर कॉपी ओके इन नेक्स्ट क्लास वी आर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट वायरस वायरॉइड्स एंड लिचेंस सो बिफोर दिस क्लास यू योर रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी यू लर्न फाइव किंगडम क्लासिफिकेशन एंड ट्राई टू लर्न वायरस वायरॉइड्स एंड लिचेंस इफ यू लर्न फ्यू फर्दर देन इट हेल्प यू फॉर मोर अंडरस्टैंडिंग द चैप्टर ओके स्टूडेंट टेक केयर हैव अ नाइस डे बाय